If you've ever travelled through Europe, chances are you've seen stone walls just like these. Some of them hundreds or even thousands of years old. And you see them through Australia as well, because as they cleared the land, they took these out of the paddocks and made the walls. The materials were free and readily available. The problem is the labour. It's a dying art and it's time consuming. And in this house here is one of Australia's finest. So if you and I are going to learn from the best, we might as well start here. Go on, mate. Good girl. Come on. This is Jeff Duggan. Jeff! Oh, perfect timing. Jason, how Hello. are you? Good, and you? Yeah, I'm real The good only Aussie that. to be certified a master craftsman in the art of dry stone walling. Who gave him that title, I wonder? None other than the renowned Dry Stone Walling Society of Great Britain. That's who. So, he knows a thing or two about building stone walls without mortar. What drew you to it? I just love working with my hands, love being creative. It's a natural way to use a natural product and uh, sort of bordering on art as well, I guess. Bordering on art, it's absolutely art. Oh, well, I'd love to have a look at some of your work. Okay. I'm sure I'll appreciate it and I'm sure everyone else will as well. Come on, Danny, I've got some friends for you to meet. Come Go on, Dan. Come on. So, Jason, this is the great unfinished project. All right, so to someone who's never done it before, yep. how does it work? What holds the dry stone wall together is gravity and friction. So if you look at a wall end on, we'd like a capital letter A. It says two walls leaning against each other and filled in the middle, because the wall has to lean in on itself, and then all the stone just naturally wants to go straight down, not in or out. So I can see that it's leaning back, and all your rubble behind it gives it strength. It means it's free draining too, doesn't it? It's, there's no wasted stone in a dry stone wall, and all the stones, their length goes back into the wall as well. When we place stone on the wall, wherever, we put our hands around, fill, fill every gap. We try and use wedge-shaped stones, so we've got more stone-to-stone -stone contact. It's all this stuff that's going on in behind the wall that you don't see on the face that makes it strong. More work in progress. Yeah, just watch your feet there on that. Ah, the finished product. Doesn't it look good? And softened off with the garden bed. This is the father and son seat. I built this for my father. Now, you don't just do this at home. You do it for other people. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, do commissions, um, more sculptural projects, like the knot at the Botanic Garden. Uh, an idea come to me that I could got a flexi rule and tied it into a knot, and I wondered if I could build that out of dry stone. And of course, you can apply it to all different things, can't you? You can create your seats, your benches, yeah. even your pizza oven yeah. out of it. Yeah, even a pizza oven. This catches my eye. How much work goes in creating an arch like that? I've never tried it. Yeah, there's a lot of work in that, a lot of stone shaping. It's one of my favourite things to build, though, is our arches. I just love them. You know what I like more than pizza ovens? Beer. Pizza. Oh. <laughs> Let's go and get some. No worries. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. You've missed your calling in life. La, 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 la. It's a bit easier than stone walling. You and me could be best friends. <laughs> Let's dig in. Don't have to be asked twice. <laughs> and the stone walls are nice too. <laughs> Mate, thanks so much for showing us around and <laughs> feeding me. Mm. You know, there's no such thing as a free lunch, so I've got a little job that I want you to give me a hand on. Excellent. Earlier we met Jeff Duggan, Australia's only dry stone wall master craftsman, and had a look at his handiwork. Now it's time to build something new with me as his trusty apprentice. Well, we're going to do a circular five pit, so we want some nice wedge shapes like pizza slices. So we can work with that one easily? Yeah, sure. Shape it up a bit? Yeah. So we'll come through here. Yep. You can see how the plugs and feathers work because they leave these little channels. The drill hole obviously is about one millimetre bigger than these two when there's nothing in them. And as you come down with this chisel point, it opens it up and splits the stone. Once the stone's broken into a manageable piece, it's then just a matter of bashing and bashing until you get the size and shape you want. 
Beautiful. So have a look at the stone first. If you have a look at it, you can see the stone has a batter on the face of it. Yep. So our, our stone wall has a batter on the face, so we want to keep the stone marry it in. consistent with that batter. So we make sure we put them down like that. And then we use our measuring stick to make sure we keep it in a nice circle. And when we put them down, we just need to make sure that they're packed so that wedge stones up underneath. All right, Jason, so now you can see we've got our outside and in, inside foundations in. But what you will notice is we've got all these gaps in between. Yep, nooks and crannies. And what we want to make here, it's like a stone pavement. Yeah, right. It's pretty much just like really rough brickwork now. You want to make sure that when you put a stone down, that you're sitting over the joints underneath it, because if they go straight on top of each other, it actually becomes a weak point. As the wall, or fire pit in this case, gets higher, we follow the same stacking process for each course. All right, we're coming down to our last course now. What we're going to do is try and get it nice and level. And the way we do that is we start at the lowest point of our wall, and then we'll use that as our reference point. So all this leftover stone, where you want it? Know what you're doing now? Might as well take it home with you. <laughs> Oh, well, we worked the pizza off. After all that back-breaking work, finally, this little fire pit's starting to come together. Oh, I love it. I thought we were going to leave it like that. You could, couldn't you? Yeah, you could leave it like that. That's solid? Yeah. You've gone to the extra expense and time cutting up some saw and sandstone. And for the final finishing touch, I wouldn't have expected anything less. Jason. That is beautiful. Did you knock that up? No, my mate Tim Connor. Tim Connor, you're an artist. I love it. It's nice and shallow, so it's still going to get plenty of airflow. A work of art. I've learned so much today. How can people go about learning from you? Oh, they just need to um, contact me, and I run workshops and teach people the basic principles in the craft. What? I might come back for another class. Yeah. Have we earned one? We've sure earned one. Righto, that's part of the job.